right, everybody, this is Rusty from Rusty Reviews here. I'm here out with my good buddy, just a regular guy. We are here today, and we're testing out these ammo from G2 Research. Now, this stuff is awesome, and I'll explain what's going on down here in just a second. Okay, I was sent four rounds. I got sent the Critical Duty, 40 cal, the Telos, uh, plus P, 9mm frangible. I got sent the Trident, 223 frangibles, and, oops, <laughs> The RIP 12 gauge uh, frangible slash lug round. Okay, now we'll go over these things real quick and take a look. So, as you can tell just from right here, these things look nasty to begin with. Well, after some testing, a couple two liters and some pumpkins, we were able to snag some really freaking good representations. Now, not the 223. Uh, as of right now, we are still attempting to snag some of that. Well, if I do, I will put it in this video. But right here, this is from a this went through one pumpkin and into two two-liter bottles. Um, it actually got caught in the first one. The second one stopped it. The second round we fired made it all the way through. So it did put it did penetrate one pumpkin and one two-liter bottle for the second round. Um, it was a big pumpkin, though. So the next, <laughs> the nine mil, we had to get creative, and I've got I'll have I'll throw some pictures in on this to show you guys what we had to do to catch this nine mil these nine mil rounds. So we had six pumpkins with two two liter bottles in the center putting this stuff in and it's awesome it's great but we do give a very fair warning um we we have a very fair warning about this for anybody who uh wants to use this stuff in your glock do not put it into a match grade barrel let's go ahead and no one pull that open for me there rog <clears throat> Just so we can show them what happened. Now, this also was put out by Glock a time ago for their RIP ammo. The Telos Plus P ammo will gouge your match barrel. Now, I will pull out my, my own Glock here. Um, and it, it's empty, but we'll show you what happened with mine. I've got a basic OEM barrel here. Oh, look at that. They're shooting. We got an OEM barrel here, and all it did was get some brass on it. So, there is nothing... Absolutely, there is nothing wrong with using an OEM barrel, but like I said, do not put a match grade into that thing. Next, two, two, three. We shot the, we shot a couple of these right now. We're still trying to dig some out of a tree, see if we can get that. But as of right now, we're still waiting to get the frange out of this. But the big star of the show today is the 12 gauge. <laughs> it took us a long time to hunt down this stuff. And this is all we were able to recover out of uh, five rounds so far, no, out of seven rounds so far. It comes in this fancy little thing and you can see in here, what it looks like. I mean, it's basically a solid slug with a handful of franges on top. And the damage this thing causes is insane. It's awesome, but at the same time, be very careful with these because it only, uh, by their website and by their own recommendation, this only has about a 10 meter maximum effective distance, okay? So you're not gonna be hitting, you know, no deer at freaking 80 yards or anything like that. This is a very, very pointed, very up close and personal round. In fact, I'd say all these rounds are up close and personal. Um, at about four or five yards, I got full expansion on the 40 cal. And we got all of this uh, complete frange cut, or fr uh, the, fr the fr frangible, um, out at about, what, four or five yards? So, yeah. And this this here was at about four or five yards. So expect when you hit something soft, and these were just in pumpkins. So, you know, expect when you're in soft, you're gonna be you're gonna be expanding pretty much at between I'd say four and five, and I wouldn't go past ten with any of this stuff. So, this is Rusty from Rusty Reviews. If you got, I'll probably add another video in. I'll be having all the slow mo we got out of this. We got a bunch of slow mo out of this. We'll put, throw up some pictures, guys. I'm telling you, if you want some fun range ammo to try and collect some metal pieces, this is this is what I'd say. This is great stuff for home defense. I would recommend the shotgun. Um, I would look into your local state laws if you're going to be using the frangible rounds and the critical duty. Uh, that that's up to your state laws to see if they've actually, you know, if it's uh, it's applicable to them. But otherwise, this is Rusty from Rusty Reviews, and this stuff is fun, guys. I really do got to say. Bye. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on.
that pumpkin. <laughs> Ready? Ready, Roger? Good. 